Hello everyone and welcome to a Build Back Better video short. Today we're looking at one of the exciting entrants in the lighting category. It's one of these new virtual suns. It's the A7 from Inner Scene. And I don't know whether you've ever seen a virtual sun, but they're pretty incredible. It looks like you've got natural light. It looks like you've got the sun and sunbeams coming into your space. And they are pretty amazing. And uh, Jonathan Clark, who joins me today, and Sean Flynn have created a new version, which is made in the UK, and is a super slim version that allows for color tuning. Um, Jonathan, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Now, tell me, how does this, uh, how does the A7 Virtual Sun work? So A7 is really uh, two light products combined into a single product. There's a, a diffuse light component. Um, and that's color tunable, as we mentioned, from 27K, 2700K all the way up to 20,000K. And along that curve, it follows the daylight locus and maintains a 90 CRI. So you get a really great natural light output from that. Uh, in addition to that uh, diffuse light component, which is the sky when you look up through it, there's also a sun component. And the sun component is a, a super bright uh, array of LEDs with an array of lenses. Um, that focus that light down into a tight sunbeam and create a rectangular patch of sunbeam on the floor. But when you look up through it, you only see one sun, even though there's lots of different LEDs. And if you put multiple products next to each other, you would still only see one sun. Um, it's one of the interesting things about it is you could have 50 fixtures in the ceiling. Each person in a room would only see one sun, but every person could be seeing the sun through a different fixture at, the, at different times at the same time. Wow. And also your version is, is very slim. It's, a, it's 10 inches or, or 24 centimeters deep, correct? That's correct. Yeah, we, we spent a, a lot of time designing how to get that footprint as small as possible. So uh, we've, our previous uh, prototypes were 15 inches and we've got that down to uh, 10 inches now. Mm -hmm. So it's even suitable for retrofitting. Exactly. Yeah, we've done uh, retrofit and uh, new build projects. Okay, great. And also you allow for full color tuning. So you could use it, say, in a human centric lighting situation. Yeah, each unit has a built in uh, clock. So it keeps track of time and it has your latitude and longitude location program mm -hmm. programmed in. So it actually automatically changes from sunset to sunrise. And in the evening and at night, you get a, a moonbeam uh, and an image of the moon up in the, the sky that you can see. Wow, sounds great. And Apple have just installed one in Cupertino, I believe. Yes, that was a really exciting project. Uh, they found us before we had launched and really wanted to get it installed into their campus. And um, it's the first thing they show people now when, when they come to visit. Wow, great stuff. Thank you, Jonathan. Thanks for sharing your information about the uh, A7 Virtual Sun. And good luck when you uh, go in front of the judges in May. Thank you.